Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. This upcoming weekend isn't actually looking too bad, it's looking fairly dry and temperatures will be turning warmer. Not expecting anything too brilliant, temperatures maybe towards the 22 or 23 degree mark for some in the south by Sunday for as we head into the start of next week it could go downhill once again, as it is looking likely, we'll see a polar maritime air mass moving in. It's pretty ridiculous to be saying that for June, but it is looking fairly likely now with the temperatures in the north, maybe 5 to 8 degrees below average for the time of year as we do the, see the remnants of cold air across the Arctic heading our way. Now, the only caveat to that is it's actually looking like further southwards. It could just about hold off that cooler air. So for some, especially across England and Wales, we could actually remain fairly warm even into next week with the north seeing a return of cold or cool conditions, even some wintry showers over the hills, and maybe even the risk of a bit of frost over the higher ground as well. As we head into the longer range though, with this more amplified jet stream, we could be seeing quite varied conditions. There's plenty of colder runs, but there's also some very warm runs as well. We are seeing southerly winds, followed by northerly winds and southerly winds once again. So pretty volatile as we head into early June. So we're not really sure exactly what the setup will be, but it does look like there'll be plenty of cooler weather, but equally potentially some warmer weather as well, especially as we head into the second full week. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see this evening we have had a few showers around, but they now have faded away, a bit of cloud remaining, but for most, it's not too bad. We have got that high pressure building in in the past day or so, it has brought a bit of a chilly northerly flow in off the North Sea which has kept temperatures down, but we will see, as I said, those temperatures rising this weekend. Now, if you look at the temperatures this evening, you'll see they're not too cold, but especially towards those North Sea coasts, it is a little bit chillier with temperatures more towards the high single digits, but most still in the double digits. Now, if you have a look at the latest UKV, you can see not too many showers overnight tonight, and as we get into tomorrow, the odd shower could pop up, but it looks like another pretty dry day to start meteorological summer. The first day of June looks like it will be starting on a bright, sunny and warm note. I wouldn't say very warm or anything spectacular, but generally around average temperatures back towards the 20 degree mark. As we head into Sunday, first signs of a change in the north. It could arrive the far northwest through the morning, but most likely won't arrive more widely until the afternoon. But where we avoid that weather front and that change in air mass, it will be another pretty warm, sunny and dry day. Now, as we head into Monday, we see thicker cloud and a bit more rain spreading southwards. And this is signs that the air mass is changing. The wind's coming in from the north. And you see through Monday and Tuesday, more showers and even a bit of snow over the highlands of Scotland. And just generally a chillier feel and showery feel coming in for the north. You see, for the far south, we never get that real showery pattern in. And that's because we hang on to some slightly milder air here. So that means that even into Tuesday and Wednesday, when it's much fresher further northwards, it's not actually all too bad in the south. Now, if you look at those upper air temperatures, you can see through much of the weekend, it's well above average, or at least slightly above average. But as we head into Monday, that fresher air starts to push in and really makes inroads into Tuesday. And you can see it pushes in for most through Tuesday into Wednesday. But you can see as we head into Wednesday, the milder air just hangs on in the far south and southeast, which could mean it, it goes slightly chillier for a time, but it doesn't really dominate and instead actually stays around average. Now, if you look at the max temperatures as we head into Saturday, the first day of summer, temperatures are hovering around their high teens, if not touching 20 or 21 degrees across southern England. So not amazing, not, uh, not anything majorly warm, but definitely not too bad. As we head into Sunday, temperatures rising even higher. As I said, 22 or 23 degrees for many across England and Wales, but it will be short-lived because as we head into Monday, still could nudge towards 20 degrees in the far south or maybe east, but we are starting to see it turn cooler. And in from the northwest, you can see by Tuesday, really struggling to get into the double digits in some areas. And where it does get into the double digits, not getting much above the low teens. The far east and south, 
18 or 19 by the afternoon and you can see finally into wednesday pretty chilly night maybe even a frost in places and by the afternoon once again seeing 18 or 20 degrees in that far southeast corner but further north to westwards still pretty chilly indeed and that's all due to that polar maritime air moving in but not quite penetrating all the way towards the south coast so here it might stay close to average still that northwesterly flow it will feel chilly there will be a chill to the air but it just won't be quite, uh, quite as cold as it is further northwards now if you look at the longer range you can see the reason for this is because this high pressure system that's dominating this weekend moves out into the atlantic and it allows a northwesterly wind to push in but it never goes direct northerly with a big blast with that low clearing into europe which means the cold air doesn't really push much further southwards than northern england eventually high pressure builds back in for the following week and actually starts to draw up a southerly flow now here it does go unsettled and thundery but for a time it actually attempting to draw up some very warm air from the south so it goes from being really fresh with greens in here to going more uh, reds and oranges with very warm air before we generally return back to average and if we do view that on the temperature deviation you see fresh cold air there with the upper air temperatures around six to eight degrees below average and then move on a few days and suddenly it's six to eight degrees potentially above average as we see a southerly wind start to push in so we need to keep a very close eye on that now, if you compare to the latest gm again very similar pattern with the high pressure moving out to europe northerly winds coming in and eventually high pressure pushing back in and again could draw up a southerly flow as we head into the second full week of june there the warm air is quite far away so it won't be an immediate effect but definitely could suggest a more of a thundery milder warmer pattern as you see the upper temperature deviation starting to draw above average air up from the south and finally, if we compare to the ECMWF, very, very similar. High pressure moving out into the Atlantic, that north or northwesterly wind pushing in, and then eventually towards day 10, high pressure starting to return over the top of us. But again, with this low out to our west, drawing up the wind from the south. Now, it's not majorly warm here. It's actually still hovering around average. But with that wind direction, it would encourage something warmer, perhaps towards the middle of the month. You can see very up and down from these ensemble members. Could be turning chillier into next week. And it's the following week could turn warmer once again, but it's way too far away to say with any certainty. And if we finish by looking at the latest ensembles, hovering around average over the next couple of days, then it's early next week we could see a drop. Uncertain how much of a drop there is for London because we are going to be pretty far away from the cold air or the source of the cold air. But you can see a drop from some ensemble members before returning to average, and then more of an above average as we head towards the middle of the month with higher precipitation, symbolic of that warmer, wetter, southerly flow. And you can see with the two meter temperatures as well, climbing this weekend dropping slightly into next week and then climbing beyond that but if we compare to glasgow look at that drop into the early part of next week above average at the moment and then a massive drop to well below average by almost 10 degrees there which is pretty massive indeed for only slowly returning to average um and you can see yes going slightly above average beyond that so we'll have to see exactly how that plays out but it could be a pretty chilly spell indeed for parts of scotland and you can see a similar sort of pattern here from the ecmwf with a well below average period as we head into early june so turning much much chillier for scotland whereas for england uh, and wales might remain more around average with potentially a little bit of chilly around the two meter temperatures will be suffering massively maybe for the glasgow which is low lying might not get much above nine or ten degrees come the early part of next week so real chill to the air coming for some but if we compare that to london maybe still in the mid teens to high teens as we just about hang on to that slightly milder air still a big drop here but not quite anywhere near as big as it will be further northwards so a real chilly mode polar mountains on air is moving in more exclusively further northwards but might not just be there could turn further southwards as well for it slowly recovers um through the week into the start of the following week so yeah a bit of a chill to come especially in the north but not exclusively and we'll have to see exactly how it does play out luckily it doesn't look like it's going to be too unsettled there will be showers around there will be bits of rain but nothing too crazy and we'll just have to see how it does play out so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new i'll see you again for another video soon